Hello, everybody! Woo! Yes, I have been drinking coffee today. Which means we're in for a wild time because today we're gonna be checking out the brand new pack from The Sims 4, which is The Sims 4 Paranormal Stuff. Finally doing some gameplay. You might be wondering why it took me so long to get this video out, and that's because I filmed it and then it filmed with no game audio. <sighs> So now we're filming again. Also, half of you guys really don't care, so let's just get into this. <laughs> oh, just quickly, thank you very much, you EA, for providing me with early access to this pack. If you guys have no idea what this pack is about, it basically gives you a new lot type, which is a haunted house, and then you essentially have to last as many days as possible to unlock a few different things. Um, so we're gonna see ghosts, and we can become an investigator, which is pretty cool, because this is just a stuff pack, you guys. This isn't a game pack. I'm very curious to see how this is gonna work. And we are also in the world of Strangerville, which came with The Sims 4. Yeah, it's in Strangerville. This lot is actually a lot built by Dr. Ashley, and this will be in your library when you get the pack. It's like a pre-built house that you can play in. The only thing is, a lot of people <laughs> forgot, you do need to change it to a haunted house residential. And it does show over here, even though there's new, no new lot traits per se, there are new lot features. Gildry the ghost is quite the charmer and is gonna help us through this pack and figure out what we're meant to do in order to see specters, which are floating apparitions. Then there's haunted treasure. So I'm kind of keen to see what that is. Paranormal activity, obviously things are gonna get a little bit weird and your sims are gonna react to that. Cursed objects. Uh, I think you need to get rid of the objects. And um, there's a few other things here. We need to be brave to get reward store points and aspiring investigators welcome. Okay, so we can become a paranormal investigator and I don't know what this is, she's coming for you. But this is my Sim here who we're going to be using today. Do you love her? She's wearing uh, the new outfit, the new shoes, the new hair. Audra, Audra Moon. So she's come to this house, she's heard that it's it's gonna get creepy in here. On the second night, Gildry the ghost appears. But one of the important things we need to look at is the seance room. And the seance room has this table with a crystal ball. And this is where we can perform ceremonies. We can commune with the departed. We can sense spiritual vol vol volatility. Let's just see how haunted this place is. So let's get her to come up here. Oh, oh. This will hopefully unlock the new medium skill. Yermish. Oh, she reminds me of how I sit on the toilet sometimes. <laughs> you know, the rocking really does help. Girl. Look at those flames. This is intense. And I have to say, I really love the creepy faces in this bowl. So we've acquired the medium skill. Snaps for Audra. She started her paranormal journey. Continue performing seances to level up. Cool, and she's detected some very happy haunts. The living and the dead are coexisting in harmony. Well done. <gasps> Spectres will be friendly and paranormal activity is reduced. Oh, so if you do this, it can reduce. I'm confused. Reduce how haunted it is. I want this to be really haunted. Hello, welcome wagon. What's up, everyone? Oh, they're both creepy. Okay, I mean, I think it goes with the theme of this pack, the whole Strangerville story. I'm still really frustrated just going back to Strangerville. As much as I really love that pack for something different and fresh, I really do wish that they had um, allowed you to switch off the storyline easily because you technically have to download a mod in order to switch it off or complete it, which is really annoying. So I wish they had implemented that. Oh, she's just doing more stuff up here. Oh. Oh, what was that? Whoa, the living here talking with me. I, it's been ever so long. I've conversed with someone non-departed. I don't even know where to begin. How about the sports team? Is breathing still a thing? Okay, so that was from her communing with the dead. Wouldn't it be fun if something terrible happened tonight? It would be fun. It would. Oh, wow, they're all cooked. Okay, so since we invited our friends over, um and looked at the ball. We're feeling a little scared now, okay? So she's gonna go hide under the covers and apparently hiding um, under the covers or screaming will actually reduce how scared you feel. So she's gonna, she's gonna jump under here. By the way, I love this side table as a side note. <laughs> oh, and she's, she's shaking under there. It's okay, honey buns. This will make you feel better. And I think this should be, oh, it hasn't started going down yet. Will that help this, this moodlet? I don't think it did. Oh, and we can take a panicked poop. Oh my gosh, it makes them need to go to the toilet as well. 
Oh, she's panicked. I mean, I know that feeling too. Okay, so unfortunately our fridge just got taken. Um, Strangerville, the secret agent said that our fridge had uh, be con been contaminated. Well, anyway, I'm going to fast forward until nighttime and let's see if anything creepy starts happening. Oh! Okay, so it's about 9 p.m. on the first night, and we've just got this pop-up that says, In a cruel twist of fate, you've ended up in a haunted house, possibly the hands of some malevolent mastermind. Controlling your every action, maybe make the most of it. Surely there's a good reason to be here. I can't handle this. Why am I here again? Why did we come here? Oh. You're understandably upset some sort of cruel deity has sent you here. If you're gonna blame anyone, blame them. Okay, so we're feeling very scared now. Second guessing, uh, stepping foot in this house. Is it too late to turn back? It might be. But other than that, other than the scary pop-up and us feeling scared, I, I think we're actually okay. I don't see anything odd happening. Okay, we're just gonna hide under the covers for a while. What's happening? <laughs> oh, there's the take my strong hand. Okay, now she's running to bed. I really feel like this is a case. <gasps> Guys, we found our first spectre. And look how cute it is. It's like a nerdy one. Oh, he's really sweet. Oh, look at him with his little bubbles coming out the back. Watch the specter first, and then we should attempt some form of communication. I feel like because he's nerdy looking is probably a nice one, right? Um, I don't think it's time for us to think about college right now. We're kind of busy. <laughs> Unless there's a paranormal course that we could go to. Wow, this would be so cool if this happened in real life. It reminds me of Flubber for some reason. I guess because it's green. You have several questions, but just being around this one makes you feel incredibly uncomfortable. Seems friendly enough, at least. Okay. So she's now communicating with this Spectre. Oh, Dina! They've got names! It's Dina. Oh, that's very cute. So she's like, uh, so, do you like soup? Actually, no, they probably can't eat soup. Um, okay, I'm gonna go float over here, I guess. Hey! What happens if we offer our soul? Does that mean we just die on the spot? Uh, Look, we're swaby. glowing. Yes. Okay, why are we glowing? Okay, we're putting our soul in a box. Am I supposed to eat this? Because I will, maybe even right now. Okay, so we were feeling spectre sprinkles from being near a playful spectre, which is nice. Whatever that spectre did, it sure feels good. Maybe spectres aren't too bad after all, so obviously they're affecting your mood. But then when we offered our soul, we suddenly feel sad. Something feels missing. I guess if we offer a piece of our soul. Yeah, that makes sense. Losing a piece of your soul isn't the most pleasant feeling. At least that spectre made good use of it, right? Oh my gosh, you guys. What is this? What is that? Mop slime creature? Get this thing out of here. Also increases the spiritual serenity of the house slightly. That is so creepy. Oh my gosh, what is next to it? <gasps> it's a sacred candle. So you can sell these, which is pretty awesome. Create sacred candles from the wax. Okay, so that's pretty cool. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. Where is she going now? Oh my gosh, there's another spectre. There's lots of spectres. That's oh, such a happy, baby. friendly looking yes. spectre. Mary and I, to Ufa. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the voice is so cute. Uh, Veronoi Ushib. Huh. Uh -huh. Oh, owner. Uh oh, we made, we made it grumpy. We made it grumpy. Yeah, maybe let's get out of the house. Oh dear. She's gonna attempt communication with this other one. Okay, once we do that, we should definitely head back up and deal with this candle. I don't I don't know what this means. Added three sacred candles to our inventory. I guess we Oh Okay, that's cool. Oh! Okay, this is slippery, so maybe we should mop up that slime creature. And I don't know where you put these. Okay, let's mop this up. This is very creepy, but I love the graphic. Ooh, I feel like we're gonna have to throw out that mop hat ahead. I don't think it likes being mopped. 
Oh, that's so creepy. Oh! Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm glad we got rid of that. Now, how, how is our mood actually now that all of that has happened? I say we go to sleep for a little bit longer and I want to see if we can put this candle anywhere. I mean, we could place it on here. Oh, okay. Extinguish or put in inventory. Okay, I'm just gonna put it back here and hopefully when Gildry visits us on the second night, he can tell us a little bit more about it. Sleepy time. What I might do, cause it's the morning now, I will make sure our Sim is feeling really happy, energized, well-fed, so we can stay up at nighttime and meet Gildry. Okay, so it is nighttime. It is the second night at 8.28 p.m. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, I actually got a cat here. This is Boo. I thought Boo would be a great addition to our household, seeming though all of our neighbors are cooked and we still need someone to socialize with. So this is Boo. And a black cat I felt like was was fitting with this, uh, this gameplay. Okay, so Gildry the ghost should be coming in in about eight seconds. Seven seconds, six seconds, five seconds, four seconds, three, two, one, now. Yes, got it. <laughs> Gildry the ghost. Oh, we should have a relationship with him, actually. It looks like you could use some help with this whole haunted house predicament. And thankfully, I happen to be an expert on the matter. Also, don't you worry, I'm a good spirit. Ah, uh, so so. Yay, I think we're gonna get along great. Where is Gildry? Oh, hi! Hey! Let's do a, a friendly introduction. He is a flirty ghost, which I'm loving. Let's get to know him a little bit better. And look, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna ask if he's single. I'm gonna ask if, uh, actually no, I'm gonna go straight for a compliment. He's a foodie. He is single, exchange numbers so we can call on him whenever we need him. Oh, I just realized he has his own interaction me menu. Okay, well, let's ask, who are you? Claude René Duplantia Gildry, but you can call me Gildry. I'm a bit of, a, blah, blah, of an expert in the paranormal and I'll never turn down a chance to help someone in need. I've been chasing after the unknown all my life and afterlife. Let me know if you need any help. Okay, so here's our here's our go-to man. Uh, why are you here? Oh, hello, little one. We need to find out if if it's worth giving you my soul. <laughs> um, oh, he's going straight to the bedroom. Okay. Uh, let's just get advice living here. I love that he's gone straight to our bedroom. That's great. Uh, can I make this place less spooky? I don't want to make it less spooky. So let's just, you know, keep it like that. Let's also ask about how to feel less scared. What's a paranormal investigator? How do we become a paranormal investigator? What's the deal with spectres? I'm just gonna pick his brain for everything. Well, in case it wasn't immediately apparent, I'm a ghost and ghosts need to haunt somewhere. Well, duh. If I can crash here for the time being, I'll help you out with all the other haunted happenings. Awesome. But if you're sick of old Gildry, you can prevent me from appearing with that weird hand statue, which is this. Um, you might have seen. I won't fast no questions asked. Oh, he's very nice. Honestly, just embrace the specters. Collect specter loot. Purchase reward store items. Stomp some dolls. And if you need to scream your lungs out, occasionally do so. And what about being scared? Being afraid is perfectly natural. It happens to all of us. But if you're having a hard time managing your fears, I strongly urge you to get some sacred candles. Being near them soothes your soul and wards off all sorts of nasty feelings. Place them throughout the house if you need to. You can never have too many in my opinion. Okay, so what about a paranormal investigator? Seekers of the unknown used to be one myself a lifetime ago. I've always been interested in things that bump in the night. Boo's checking him out. There's even an organization out there that recruits properly certified paranormal investigators too. So if you prove your spiritual medium skills to me, I might be able to get you certified. Oh, okay, so we're gonna prove our skills, which means we need to work on our skill. Who knows, maybe they're, they're the manifestation of the lost dreams and ambitions of mankind, or maybe I'm reading into things too much. One thing I do know is that they love presents. If you manage to make specters happy, they'll cough over something useful and put it in a good word with the rest of the entities in the house. 
Okay, well this is all really, oops, I don't want to talk about Strangeville. This is all really helpful, Gildry. Thank you so much. What's up with the creepy objects? I think then we've covered everything, have we? Oh, want to have a drink? You must be flirty to say this. Damn. Yeah, you want to stay away from all those at, at, those at all costs. Those things are super cursed. Okay, so any of those objects, we want to get rid of them the second they show up. Okay, so from Offering Our Soul, we got another wax, which is really good. Um, Gildry, let's just ask about selling our soul. I may have sold my soul. What does, what does this mean? Is this a good thing to do? I mean, we get candles, so clearly they don't mind it. You did what? First of all, how? Second, why? Actually, I don't need to know all of the details. Just Let's just leave it at that. Thankfully, I may have just the solution. Try uh, absorbing one of these. This should replace whatever you stripped out and maybe numb that stinging feeling of regret. Just maybe be more conscious next time. A soul scrap? What is this? That's a soul scrap? Absorb it? Sell it for 500 simoleons? Damn, you can make a lot of money in this. I think we should abs absorb it to feel a bit better. And then I have some needs we need to work on. We really need to pee because we're being so scared tonight. Uh, thank you, Gildry. That feels better. Let's give him a hug. Okay, things are really starting to heat up over here. I love how Vlad the vampire is even scared of running away. <laughs> oh, Gildry, Gildry, Gildry. Oh, we can have our first kiss with Gildry. Oh, Gildry, I've been waiting to find you my whole life. I'm not sure if this is okay, but I just felt like I had to. Oh, Gildry. Oh, Gildry. Um, I don't think there's any specters or weird stuff around the house right now. So let's just also, Boo, can you get off our kitchen counter? <laughs> let's just take care of ourselves. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Wait, before we take care of ourselves, yeah, if we are flirty with Gildry, there was another option. Oh, wait, no, don't talk about Strangeville. Hold on. Just don't pee your pants just yet. Want to have a drink? I want to see if he's going to have a drink with us sometime. Zombo Foonie. Would you like um to have a drink with me? <sighs> to be honest, everything has been pretty tasteless since my unfortunate demise. But here, try some of this. It's called Spectre Sip. It seems to be made from... Actually, don't think about that too much. Just try it. Ooh, take a sip of the most cool, refreshing drink there is. Spectre Sip. Ah, soulful and fizzy. If you ever drunk a part of somebody's soul, You'll know that their memories and general essence come with it. So get ready to sponge it all up and revel in the strangeness. Okay, that's creepy. Pee pee time, food time, sleep time, and then we'll have a drink. Oh no, Gildry just mm. left. Oh, Gildry. I thought you were gonna stick around with us. All right, well, while, while he's gone, we may as well have a drink. Oh, he's still here. Uh, and I think he's leaving. What is this odd drink? Okay. Bottoms up, feeling close with someone nearby. Hmm. Audra has reached level four of the vampire law skill. Wait, what? Wait, while reading about vampires, we didn't read about vampires. I think it's from drinking this. You feel strangely more experienced as if memories from another life poured into you. What a rush. It's almost like we learnt from Vlad's maybe? Being around a sim that Audra has shared good moments with can bring those feelings back. Okay, I'm gonna put a few of these around the place cause I wanna, like, I want her to feel good. Okay, so this candle's making her feel happy again. So that's really nice. I'm, I'm glad to glad to hear that. And then this hand over here disables Gildry's nightly visits or we can enable heroic mode. Heroic mode offers an extra challenge for daring sims. Haunted houses become rapidly worse over time. Double the reward store points earned. Okay, we definitely wanna get into that heroic mode. Put your bravery to the test. In this mode, the spiritual serenity of the haunted house will diminish faster at night, increasing paranormal activity and waking up angry specters. Thankfully, you'll be rewarded with more points after each successful night, but be warned you won't be able to change out of her heroic mode until after some time has passed. I'm ready for this. I've got my candles. I, you know what? Maybe we should make some more candles. I don't know how long they last for. Boo, you ready for this? <laughs> um, and it looks like we can socialize with Gildry too. 
I just want Gildry to come back. Like, I really want to develop this relationship more. I want to have a baby with Gildry. Well, what I may do, guys, is I think I'll leave this part right here. And in the next part, um, we'll hopefully, you know, smash Gildry. No, we don't want to say smash. That's that's really crass. We'll have a little woo-boo. Get it? It's like woo-hoo, boo-hoo. We'll have a little boo-hoo. And then in the next part, we'll be a little bit more experienced, which will be a good thing. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always, I look forward to speaking to you really soon for some more haunted madness. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.